7 in the morning, all calm. Thunderstorms try to work in from the west, but we stay dry as we head through the day tomorrow. Now watch this. There's a small chance of a little bit of rain. Here's noon tomorrow. A couple little showers pop up. I have 10% coverage in my forecast as we head through tomorrow. And tomorrow, just like today, once the sun sets, watch this. They just fizzle out. So 10, 20% of us pick up a little bit of rain as we head through tomorrow. And then as we uh, look ahead to uh, Thursday, 7 in the morning Thursday, very low coverage of rain also in the forecast Thursday. Here we are, rain out to the west Thursday morning. So a shower, a thunderstorm, I can't rule it out, but the most of us will be dry on Thursday. Thursday night, we're dry again. Here's 7 in the morning on Friday. So a small chance of a little bit of rain Friday. Then as we head through Friday evening, there's 7 p.m. Friday. See the rain, the rolling plains picking up more rain again. That's great news. Seven in the morning on Saturday. We have rain around Saturday and it's on and off throughout the day Saturday. Here's 7 p.m. Saturday. Another little batch of rain moves through. Here's 7 a.m. on Sunday. And then there's another chance of rain on Sunday. So decent rain coverage. I'm being fairly conservative right now on my numbers. About half of us see rain as we head through Saturday and Sunday across uh, North Texas and the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, many of the models are going higher than that. I just don't want to jump on those high range coverage numbers right now, but a decent chance of rain as we head through the upcoming weekend. And my forecast has all that in it. The rain has ended now. 68 the low, a partly cloudy to a mostly clear night across North Texas, a pretty comfortable night tonight and then during the day tomorrow, uh, mostly to partly sunny skies, a warm day, a muggy day will hit 90 tomorrow, which is just about where we should be. Maybe a degree above normal as we head through the day tomorrow. But other than that, a pretty nice day and we have another ozone action day and folks ask all the time. Hey, these these ozone action days, these these air quality alerts that we have for for healthy, uh, unhealthy air quality. What's the story with that? Well, when you have high pressure sitting on top of uh, on top of you, which we will as we head through the day tomorrow, you have have light winds and look at our winds tomorrow south 5 to 15. It causes a sinking in the air. There's no air to just move things around and keep the pollutants stirred up. So we have a stagnant air mass and when we have a stagnant air mass in place and temperatures are upper 80s close to 90, we have an air quality alert. We have an ozone action day and if you have uh, any uh, respiratory issues or you're sensitive to that, please take note. But 90, that's the high tomorrow. The next 10 days. June 1 begins on Thursday. 5% of us could see a little bit of rain. Thursday's high 91. Then on uh, Friday, we hit 92. 20% of us see a little bit of rain. Then half of us see rain as we head through Saturday and Sunday. Saturday's high 88. Sunday's high temperature 85. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. We're almost, you know, uh, June 1 is meteorological summer. And as you look at that forecast, that's, I mean, it's not a hot summer forecast, but it's a type of forecast that we'd have in the summer with that 10, 20, 30% rain coverage, those pop-up afternoon thunderstorms that develop.